Hey guys, welcome back. PG Mining 10 here with the long awaited episode number 10. Now, this episode, I really, really would like to do some sweet stuff. I would like to go ahead and note a few changes. At the moment, I am actually wearing a pair of Warhawks boots of the Traveler that he made. He actually has some power armor, so he doesn't really need these anymore. So he went ahead and gave them to me. And I really didn't want to wear them for my Let's Play, but um, I really am. They are growing on me, and I would really just like to borrow them for the time being because I do have quite a bit of Thaumcraft research done. Now, I don't have nearly as much as he does. But if you do take note, I do have quite a bit. I'm up to the wands, as you see, infusion altar, all of this good stuff. I'm pretty far arcane levitators. We will be using some of those. And portable holes actually next up on the list, so that'll be cool. Um, but anyways, we should be getting these soon, and I will give him his boots back. And he got a really good um, enchantment on them. And now speaking of enchantments and luck, um, I got really, really lucky on an enchantment. I was level 49, I believe. I hadn't died in forever. It was ridiculous, and I actually got two, or actually I got three super good enchantments um, for 49 levels. Now, believe it or not, I got three out of that, which was super awesome. But as you see, the one I have in my hand is actually Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 3, which is super awesome. I love that enchantment. Um, I get a ton of diamonds. Now, the reason I really, really needed fortune, I don't mind all that much about not getting all that many diamonds, but what I really needed was quartz. Now, quartz is going to be the basis for applied energistics. Now, if you go ahead and note this recipe, you do need a quartz cutting knife, and you need some silicone, which is going to need some quartz dust. Now, if you were in 1.5.1, you could use some nether quartz for the silicone, I believe, um, but I'm not in 1.5 because we don't have red power and all that stuff if I went there. But anyways, as you see, I also got a Fortune 1 pickaxe. Now, I got really lucky. I did go, I don't know, I went like voodoo on it, and I, like, I found the numbers that were around me, like these. I used some of the ends for those, like I used 95 or whatever, and I ended up getting some really good enchantments. That's how many times I pulled it out of the enchantment table and put it back in. And so I got Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, and Fortune 1. And I also enchanted this Sapphire Pickaxe at like level, I think it was 6. And I got Efficiency 1, which isn't all that great, but it is rather nice for mining. As you see, it's almost broken. That's all right. We're about halfway there. Now you're going, okay, um, you just told me a whole bunch of stuff, but what are you doing this episode? Well, we are going to be getting started with Applied Energistics. Now, Applied Energistics is an amazing mod. As you see, it adds so many different blocks. I can't go over all of them. Hopefully, we can actually get a few of them, just a few, done this episode. Now, the reason this is going to be amazing is because this mod is basically going to allow you to view items the way the game actually views them itself. Now, one thing that I really would like to go ahead and get done is let's grab ourselves all of this stuff. Now, as you see, that is the recipe for an MFE. I went ahead and got it all laid out for us. That way, I don't have to waste time in making it. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, I'm sure all of you guys know what this thing is for. An MFE is a large larger storage system than the um, battery box. So that is a great thing to have in your inventory, and it's just a great thing to have in general. So we are definitely going to need this. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we should place it for the time being, so I believe what we'll go ahead and do is just plop it down somewhere, probably about here. Um, I think that should be fine. Let's just go ahead and break this block, because we don't really need these stairs now that we have... Um, these boots that Frodo has lent us, and as you see, this will actually hold 600,000, and it actually outputs 128 EU per tick, so be careful, and make sure you don't hook it up to this, because I don't believe it can receive that much, so that would be bad if you did that. Now, as you see, this is going to send our water mills into overtime, and I really don't want to make any more of these until we get something really cool done. Now, we can do something automated to make them once we get this done. So, as I was saying, Applied Energistics, awesome. You will be able to store items as the game actually sees them, which is as in numbers and letters. So, that's cool. Actually, it sees it mainly in numbers, but let's go ahead and grab all of this good stuff. Let's grab out our iron dust, and let's go ahead and cook this up. As you will see, I went downstairs and grabbed our other electric furnace and just plopped it down, which is pretty cool. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to actually start seeing these items and storage and everything craziness 
as the game sees it, is what we are going to need is called a controller. Now it's actually going to be a rather easy recipe. I'll go ahead and grab out everything and show you guys the main things we are going to need. We're going to need just a little bit of quartz crystals, which are, I believe, the best place to find them is about level 30-ish is where I found the most. Now I may be completely wrong, but I did find a good bit there, and fortune does work rather nicely on them. You'll also get something called quartz dust, which I don't think I have any on me for the time being. Ooh, I actually have some glass fiber. Um, but quartz dust, you are going to need to make silicone just because we don't have our nether quartz or any of that at the moment. Now, what you're going to need is an ME advanced processor. Now, you do actually have a standard version, which is right there. But for the time being, let's go ahead and show off this one. Instead of having a piece of gold here, which is the basic one, you actually have yourself a diamond. Now, the quartz cutting knife is rather easy. It's just two quartz and one iron and two sticks. So that's pretty easy. And you do get about 200 uses out of there. As you see, I've used it seven times so far, I believe. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and make ourselves the controller. Let's go ahead and place you there. And you're going to want to place the iron in the four corners and the quartz in like a kind of a cross shape. All right, so as you see, now we have ourselves an ME controller. Now this thing, it's going to be basically, it's where all the power is going to be inputted. So I really would like to get it along that wall upstairs. So I'm thinking right about, let's see. Thinking about here is going to be a good place for this. Now you do see it has this crazy gooey, not really, it has about two slots on it. And these two slots are actually for something super easy. Now currently you do see ME controller offline. Power is low, zero units per tick. Now that is going to be changing here rather shortly. We really do need a few glass fiber cables, but we will actually make the second thing for this currently. Let's go ahead and grab... Let's see, let's scoot you on over and let's pull all this stuff out. Now the second thing I believe we are going to make is actually called an ME storage drive. Now you could actually make some chest if you would like to, but I really think there's no point in making the chest for the pure reason that chests really aren't going to help you out all that much just because um, you can't really do anything in the later game. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this drive and something else we're actually going to need is actually an MS storage cell. So let's go ahead, or ME storage cell, my bad. And it's actually right here. And as you see, this is an ME1K storage. Now we're going to need to make one of these and it's really not all that hard. As you see, we do need a basic processor for that, but we should, let's see, I believe we're missing a little bit of redstone as well as possibly a little bit of quartz. But as you see, we have a amazing amount of all this stuff. So that is great. And I did learn something. If you shift click on the actual, let's see, what is it called? Um, if you shift click on the question mark, as you will see right here, you're able to actually place everything in your inventory and bada boom, as you see, now we have ourselves our storage cell and it placed everything in the inventory for us. So that is something that I learned and I really like that. I did not know that before and I'm not sure why I felt kind of stupid when I figured that out, but now we can make ourselves an ME1K storage. Now this guy is actually going to be placed either in your ME drive or you can actually place it in an ME chest. Now an ME chest is made like so, but I didn't want to have to make this conversion matrix um, or matrix I suppose. Um, so I didn't make it, but now what we're going to do is place our drive down directly next to our ME controller. Now you will notice that you have actually added the ME um, drive to your set. Now there are actually two things on this network, but it doesn't notice the controller as an item itself. So that is cool. Now currently we still don't have any power hooked up to this, so now that's a problem, but what we can actually go ahead and do is place our ME1K storage in there. Now you will notice that this is not actually lit up at the moment, and it's actually a little bit dark, so that is what we need to fix now. Let's go ahead and I believe what we should be able to do is grab a little bit of silver as well as some diamonds. Now I do like using silver. Let's see, do we have any silver? I like using silver just because it is actually... Um, you don't waste your diamonds nearly as much, but if we don't have any silver, we may just have to go with, um, you know what, we're not going to do that. What we will do is go ahead and macerate some of this silver, and then we'll cook it up, and I will go ahead and continue making some of the items that we will be needing for the rest of our ME stuff. So let's go ahead and grab this, and we n are not quite yet going to power our ME controller, but do keep in mind, if you do have the silver and you have all the cabling to do so, I would recommend going ahead and powering your ME controller because you will be able to get started. So... 
Now what else are we going to need? So we have ourselves our controller as well as our drive. Now something else we're going to need is called an ME access terminal. Now you're going, okay, that recipe looks, it looks a little bit different. So here is what we're going to need. We basically need a conversion matrix C, which I believe, let's see, we are not in a crafting table. And let's say sup. And I do like this plugin that I have, so that is pretty cool. But what I really would like to do is not babble about that. Let's go ahead and get the recipe on this and the recipe on that and shift click. So we have ourselves a conversion matrices. So that is great. Let's go ahead and do out of this good stuff. Now, another thing that you're really going to need is some of this ME cables. So let's go ahead and make this. Now, as you see, I'm using quartz dust and a little bit of glass and we grabbed ourselves a little bit of quartz fiber. Now, what you can do actually is place your redstone like so and there you go. You have a little bit of ME cable. Now, ME cable is allowing you to actually connect all of your ME parts. Every Everything in Applied Energistics, all these blocks you can connect, even these little storage bus kind of, um, they're actually cables as well, but you can connect them like so. So this is a little bit expensive if you don't have all that much quartz dust, but now a cool thing that you're actually able to do is take all of your quartz dust and what you can do is actually you can take your quartz crystals and place them in a macerator and ba boom you have yourself four quartz dust which means you're going to be able to make about four of your ME cables and after you make four I believe you get another four so that's cool if you think about it like that so now what we really need to do is head back upstairs actually no we don't here is what we need to do now what we need to make sure that we get is ourselves an access terminal otherwise this is completely worthless and you're not going to be able to do anything so now we should have everything we need just go ahead and shift click and grab ourselves our first me access terminal now this terminal can actually be placed anywhere but you will have to wire it up using this me cable now me cable does look i don't know it looks a lot different and it kind of looks like liquid ducts to me a little bit um take it however you would like but what we are going to do now is actually place, you're going to want to place this probably a little bit higher than the rest of the blocks because you will consistently be opening this. Now you're going, all right, so that looks normal, right? Um, Not really because you can't place anything in here. So where does the storage come in? Well, first off, we really need to get this powered. But now you will notice that you do have your ME drive as well as your ME access terminal. There, there are most definitely a few more blocks that you're going to need to get this mod working. But for the moment, we actually are pretty close to being functional. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of that good stuff. And I should be able to type in fiber. Oh, God, not fiber. All right, so let's do this. And I should be able to, let's do the silver recipe. And that should be just fine. I have two leptron crystals, four of energy. I'm about to have three. That's cool. Um, am I missing something? Oh, I don't have any diamonds on us. Let's go ahead. I believe we have about 20, unless I use some. Uh, we have 21, so that means I used one. Oh, oh, I used one for that advanced, um, basic processor, or advanced ME processor. So, now I should be able to go ahead and do the shift-click awesomeness, which, um, I can't do for some reason. Why can't I do that? We have silver. Um, oh, I know why we can't do silver. We're gonna have to do this manually because it does switch back and forth. No big deal. I just do really like that, um, way for you to be able to do that. I really find that to be super awesome. Whoever made that shift click thingy is awesome. Let's go ahead and place our diamonds in. And there we go. We have ourselves 27 glass fiber cablings. Now, I didn't really honestly want this to end up like this, but it just kind of ended up looking like this and it's going to be nice that we're going to be able to do this at least early in the game I'm actually gonna have solar panels up here shortly but as you see I went went ahead and left room for sort of windows or something similar to windows I suppose and in doing so I enabled us to be able to do something a little bit like this let's break in right here and now what I should be able to do is just run our cabling um, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Let's go down a little bit, and I'm actually going to run it here. So this is... <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is going to be where we're going to run our glass fiber cabling. Now, do keep in mind, glass fiber cabling is probably the best kind of cable that you can get in terms of energy loss. Now, tin cabling is pretty good in terms of energy loss. I believe it doesn't lose over 40 blocks, and you're not going to lose um, but one per 40 blocks, I think. One EU per 40 blocks, but... What the heck? Why did you just throw crap at me? Um, nay. I don't want... I don't want... Nay. Nope, I don't know. I don't want... One sec. 
Okay, so what we actually were doing is going to power our <clears throat> energy, um, our ME controller. So let's go ahead and sorry my voice is messing up. It's been messing up all day, and I I don't know. That's why I've delayed recording so much because I would I don't know, but it just kept messing up. So that's why we haven't recorded in a while. Let's see. All right, so you are actually able to connect this up with any kind of energy. As you see, energy used is nine units per tick. Now that's, all right, that's that's kind of a lot if we're using EU per tick, but keep in mind that unless he has rebalanced this mod, you're actually able to use um, one EU is equivalent to about, about two of these um, units. So we're actually using 4.5 EU per tick, which means our machines will probably begin to run low, but no big deal. Let's see, we may still be gaining, as a matter of fact. Nope, we are not. That's, I don't know, that's kind of bad. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to fix this rather quickly. But as you will see, now this thing has a green light on it. Now you're going, okay, um, a green light? What, what good does that do? Well, now, as you will see, magically, this has actually appeared, and we should now be able to say, hey, I want to go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Now, what is so magical about being able to throw stuff in here? Well, let's just go ahead and continue to throw a good amount of stuff in here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do all of this good stuff. And, yeah, so we have all of this stuff in here. And, all right, so say we want to search for iron, but we have a good amount of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and left-click, and there you go. Iron pulled straight out. And where is all this being stored? It's being stored in these three blocks right here. And actually, if I wanted to, as you see, 10 types of 63 have been used. Now, that means we actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, as you see, there are 10 different types of blocks. If I went ahead and added in a little bit more of our diamonds or anything like that, it would actually not change anything. It would actually change the amounts of, amount of bytes used, which is currently, I don't know, I think it's about half of however many blocks you have. Um, that seems about right, so it's about half, I believe, of however many blocks you have used. So we could store probably about 2,000-ish blocks, maybe 3,000, which is pretty cool, unless you had um, 63 um, types in there. So you could actually use a formatter to limit what goes on each drive, but for the time being, we are not going to do that until later, possibly. Um, but that is always an option. You could say, hey, I only want this to go on this certain storage cell, and that's pretty cool that you're able to do that. Now, another thing that we really need to get going is probably a little bit of more energy. But another thing that I've been working so hard on is actually our gold production. Now, we are going to need so much gold for this. It's it's not even funny. But I did actually go ahead and figure out what we're going to need for auto crafting. And we need about 32 quartz, 128 gold, and 128 iron. And as you see, we are a little bit short on our stuff but that's no big deal let's go ahead and begin transferring all of our stuff over now there is a really easy way for you to transfer things over if you do have something to possibly move over say your chest or move something over to get it close enough over to this that way you don't have to um, take all the time to do what I'm doing here now there is something called a let's go ahead and type in ME again and I should be able to find this block with no problem as you see the ME interface is what is going to allow you to use your build craft pipes and everything like that I believe you can use pneumatic tubes don't quote me on that I know logistics pipes will work and things like actually you know what logistics pipes I couldn't get them to work with an extractor module and a mark one chassis but I'm sure I was just doing something wrong um, with the logistics junction it threw me off a little bit but I think I got it working eventually which was cool but as I was saying, the interface is going to allow you to bridge between Buildcraft and this Applied Energistics. So you could use like a quarry and have an autarkic gate on a wooden pipe and be pumping out of an inner chest straight into that baby. And you will be able to do some cool stuff. So let's see. We can also sort by number, sort by priority, sort by item name, toggle the sorting direction. So we could flip this by the amount of number and then as you'll see the least is actually up top and the most is at the bottom that's cool and view stored and craftable we actually don't have anything craftable yet so we can't really do that but I will be showing you guys that soon and that's where this ME cable will actually come in now I'm hoping we have enough room up here um, for a 4x3 tall block but we'll just have to see how that pans out this is going to require quite a lot of resources as you see, these are the things we're actually going to need. So that's kind of a shame that it's going to be that expensive. But we might as well go ahead and continue to make some good stuff. Now, there is actually a really cool thing that we can make currently. And it's actually called a... Let's see, where are we? 
I believe. 16, you, you mad a son? Um, there's actually a, where is it? I don't even know what it looks like, but I know what it does, so that's great. A wireless access point. We're going to need a wireless receiver, which just needs a little bit of our quartz fiber, so that's no big deal. Let's grab out, uh, let's grab out about half of that. Let's grab, we have enough of our glass on us for the time being, and a little bit of redstone. Let's go ahead and grab out all of our redstone. Now, sometimes you will have a texture error with the double lettering up there, which I'm sure you noticed, but normally it looks rather nice, so that is actually great. Um, I should have that fixed by next episode, maybe, unless I just can't get it fixed because it is being derpy. Oh, we don't want to do that. All right, so we do actually need an ender pearl, and I actually, um, let's see, should I go ahead and time set day for him? I don't know why he wants day, but I guess since he asked. And we are on the server currently, so if you guys, I don't know, somehow magically were able to predict when I was going to be recording, you guys could come on here and interact, I suppose. But um, for the time being, I don't really have anyone on there, and he doesn't want to, I guess, interrupt while I'm recording. I don't know. During the live streams, most definitely, I'd like to have you guys on. So this is actually a server during live streams, so I just wanted to throw that out there out there all right so now what we really need to make is this wireless access point which is a little bit expensive and we need ourselves an ender pearl so let's go ahead and say i thought it was let's see how do you make this thing there we go all right so there is ourselves an ender pearl and i should be able to make it like a shoe there we go we have ourselves a wireless receiver which is quite awesome and we should have everything for a wireless access point. Now, do keep in mind, every time we add one of these blocks onto our system, we are going to use up a little bit more energy. As you see, energy used is 9 units per tick, which is about 4.5 EU at the current moment, I believe. So let's go ahead and place down our ME wireless access point. Now, I believe how this is actually going to work is, let's see, an ME remote is going to be right here. And we are going to need an ME access terminal once more and another ME wireless receiver. So let's see, are the ME wireless receivers the exact same thing that I just made? Yes, it is. So we're going to need two more of those, which is no big deal. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a few ender pearls. I know I made a bit too many in doing that, but hey, we are going to need them for our item test racks later, which will be kind of cool. Um, if you don't know what those are, they're basically like teleport pipes, which is super cool. Uh, let's see, yeah. what we should be able to do is make ourselves another one of these. We do need two of these, though, so let's go ahead and do one, two. And I really love this shift-clicking on the question marks because it gives you some cool action, supposedly. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make ourselves, I think it was one of these, and all we need is actually one more of our wireless thingy. So let's go ahead and place our wireless receiver on top of that access terminal, and that didn't want to work. Let's. Oh, it actually wanted one of those. Oopsies. Okay, so we have <clears throat> we have ourselves one of those again. I don't know why I did that. Um, Herm. All right, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and make one of these, and we're going to need ourselves another one of these babies, which is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but. What I should be able to do is throw ourselves a little bit of this in there, and this is how you're going to make your silicone, which is no big deal. And yes, it did take quite a while to learn all these recipes. It's not going to happen overnight. Well, unless you spend a lot of time on it, I guess. I don't know, but let's go ahead and run back upstairs. And this is really what this wireless remote is going to fix. We're actually... What the heck? Did we run out of power? Yep, that is not good. Um, as you see, we did run out of power, and it's like flickering back and forth. So that's what happens when you do run out of power, so that's not all that great. Let's see, can we go ahead and here's what we're going to do. We're going to steal a little bit of power from our battery box, um, if we are able to do so. There we go, we should have enough power for us to be able to fix this, and over the course of the next episode, I suppose, what I will do is, ooh, actually, we have ourselves another one of these. I knew I made enough, but I didn't know where the heck it went, so let's go ahead and use this, but over the course of the next episode or so, what I'm going to do is actually, um... We're going to make a few more of those water mills in order for us to get some more energy because I would like to get enough energy to actually run this, but then we will be having auto crafting, so that'll be super cool. Let's go ahead, and apparently we can't use the question mark thingy in our Philosopher Stone, which I would like for Pahamar to bring back, but he's currently working on crazy things, so I don't know. Let's go ahead, and man, my voice is messing up today. Let's go ahead, and we don't have everything for this, do we? Let's go grab our quartz crystals. And I do need to bring a crafting bench up there, I suppose. Let's go ahead and pull out all of that. Now, once we have a, a ton of crap in there, we will be able to pull out just stacks at a time. 
and I'm thinking it's a little bit harder to pull out just one at a time at the moment, but eventually I'm sure I'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and make one of you. Now that we have you, we should have just enough to make ourselves another access terminal. So let's go ahead and say ba-boom. And now we have ourselves an unlinked ME wireless access terminal. Now what we are going to do with this is let's head on upstairs. And what I should be able to do, I'm pretty sure, is plop you down in here possibly. No, I think it was actually in the controller. That's what this was for, I said. So as you see, we now have our ME wireless access terminal. Now it is linked now, which means we should be able to right click and ba-boom, we actually are able to access this from anywhere in our house. Now I believe it's about 15 blocks away, but there is a little expander module thingy that we can add on. So as you see, um, let's see, how far is this? It's about um, 91 all the way over to about... What is that? That's about 15 blocks or so, I believe. Let's see, 15. Yeah, that's probably 15. I don't know. Anyways, as you see, I just heard something really strange. Is he on Skype? No, I don't even know. But as you see, we are able to now access our inventory from downstairs and everywhere in our house, basically. As long as we don't go past, I believe, this divider here. Yeah. Once you go past here, pretty much, we are unable to access, and especially if we lose all of our energy. So I really would like to get a few of these made. In the meantime, I'm going to make probably about six or so, I suppose. And from there, what we should be able to do is add a few more things. Now, another thing I would like to get done is make ourselves about 128 gold, and once we get that... We're going to be able to make something really cool in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this Applied Energistics Let's Play, please do let me know in the comments down below. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do let me have the satisfaction of that because it means the world to me. I think we're at like 4, 10-ish maybe. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mining 10, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.